Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey with the World Floor Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. And this week on The Lead Story, I want to tap into what's happening this weekend. It is Easter weekend, and whether you celebrate that from a spiritual standpoint or simply as a holiday, there are some principles related to the story of Easter that will help us as leaders. Now, don't worry. I'm not deep diving into the spiritual aspect of this, but I'm not avoiding the wisdom that comes from the spiritual aspect that can also affect you as a leader. Let me share a personal story that I, will, I think will help you get where I'm going as we discuss the concepts of mercy and grace and how they can impact you as a leader. So years ago, I grew up behind the post office in Chatsworth, Georgia in a 10 foot wide trailer. And in that trailer park, they had a large oak tree and around the oak tree, they had built a wall about three feet high and about a foot wide. It was in a round circle around the oak tree and I love to climb on that thing. In fact, I climbed on it over and over as a very young child and then ultimately one day fell off on the inside next to the tree. But unfortunately, inside next to the tree was a broken jar. And I landed on that. You may still see the scar on my wrist. It is still there. And from that point forward, my father said, nobody climbs on the round thing. That's what we called this wall that was around the oak tree. So, you know, we were kids, and so we were always pushing back boundaries. And when you tell somebody they can't do something, what's the one thing they think about? That thing. And so we always wanted to climb on it. We were young, me and my brother Mike, who's two years older, and my brother Louie, who's four years older than me. Well, we, could, we got really good at hearing the sound of my dad's car. We knew when he was coming, and so we needed to run back to the trailer so he would not see any of us on the round thing but one day Louie and I were playing in the yard and my brother Mike was out by the round thing and I don't know if dad put his car in neutral or what but for some reason we didn't hear him until we saw him and Mike caught a glimpse and he ran and dad looked up and he, he knew one of us had been on the round thing he didn't know which one so he came in and he said boys one of y'all were on the round thing and I don't know which one it was but if you don't tell me who it was I'm gonna have to give all three of you a spanking well, Dad was really good at spankings, and so none of us wanted that. Mike certainly didn't, even though he was the one on the wall. And by the way, disclaimer, my brothers are my heroes. They are amazing men and, and, and really blessed to have them in my life, have awesome mom and dad. But this was just us as kids being kids and protecting ourselves and looking out for ourselves. So Dad left the room, and he gave us a little bit of time to confer, hoping that we would come to a consensus on who it was. Well, Louie and I both knew who it was, it was Mike. But we weren't gonna break the brother code. We weren't going to tell dad it was Mike. And so it would be up to Mike to confess, and Mike as a young kid, not wanting one of dad's famous spankings, did not confess. And so we're about to all three get a spanking. And my brother Louie, who did not do it, he was with me, raised his hand and said, Dad, it was me. And that day, Louie, took my spanking and my brother Mike's spanking for us. Now, there's all kinds of spiritual parallels to that, but that's not where I'm going. I want you to understand two words that are vital to leaders. The word mercy, and mercy simply means withholding from somebody what they deserve, and the word grace, which is giving to somebody what they have not earned or do not deserve. Now, think about those stances in this story. Mercy was my brother Louie taking my spanking for me. Grace was our ability to go forward and still have the brother code and having not told on each other and the ability to go back out and continue on. That, that rolls over into business very well because when you as a leader display mercy and grace to your team, the loyalty factor goes up dramatically. Let me explain. Sir John Thomas Watson was the CEO of IBM during their early formative years when they began to explode and became a Fortune 500 company. One day he was faced with a dilemma. One of his key employees had made a $600,000 mistake. Now this was back in the 1950s. That was a lot of money then and uh, that's a lot of money now. Well, he was asked, are you going to fire him? And John Thomas Watson said, fire him? Lord, no, I just invested $600,000 in him. Why would I invest that much in him and then turn him over to my competition to hire away? Now, that's mercy 
not giving him what he deserved because of the mistake, and grace, the ability to go out and do his job and to be trusted to do it again. Leadership is not always simply being on the stage. Sometimes it's about displaying the attributes that make people want to follow you, like mercy and grace. Now go out there and live the story that you want other people to tell.